Hey, it's Dorlene, and today I'm going to be working on a two-page 12 by 12 layout. I'm using a sketch by Scrap of Generations, Allison Davis. It's a six by six pad class. Um, I've done a couple of sketches already, and it's I enjoy going through sketches because it does kind of help you um, with a place to start. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going through this particular 6x6 six six pad and I'm picking out some pattern papers that I think will work. So what I'm doing is this is a July and August month in review, or I should say months in review layout. I've been doing those a lot. I really, really like the idea because sometimes an event happens and it might just be a small event, but it's worth a picture. It may not be worth an entire scrapbook layout. Um, there, are, I do occasionally do one photo scrapbook layouts, but I'm normally a multi-photo scrapbook layout person. Wow, that was a mouthful. Um, so with these months in review, I'll take at least one picture of the event, um, whatever it is that happened that month. Sometimes it's two, just kind of depending. And then I create um, a layout about it. So what I did, as you can see, I've selected my um, six by six papers that I was going to use. And since it was July and August, I really wanted this primary bright colors. Once you see my pictures, you'll see that there's a lot of, uh, well, especially with those feathered uh, feather boas, but there's a lot of bright colors, um, you know, a birthday party that was circus themed, um, the bright colors of that feather boa, and also of um, some of my granddaughter with her, uh, baseball uniform. So, um, you know, just kind of the normal things. I'm adhering the paper down. And again, I'm following the sketch. I'm not showing you the sketch because it is a uh, class that you um, have to pay for. I It's been a while now, but I want to say it was like five bucks and you get like six different um, sketches, you, all using six by six paper pads. Of course, you could use um, any size paper and even scraps, but um, for this particular one, as you can see, you cover the top half with um, the entire six by six papers, and um, and that's it as far as your pattern paper goes. So right now I'm just kind of fussing around and trying to figure out where I'm going to put these pictures. That's a um, ultrasound picture of my granddaughter, and we do know at this time that she is a girl because we did have the gender reveal earlier, but. Um, it's still fun to put it in there. Um, you know, again, like I said, I'm just kind of going around trying to figure out what's the best place to put these. And that collection from Ellie's studio is something that I won um, uh, years ago. And I, I love the brightness of all the colors. Again, it comes with, it came with the paper, six by six paper pad, the embellishments, those journaling cards, and, um, this is the first time I've used it, which is hilarious. But um, so once I get the, the photos down where I like it, I um, will adhere them down. You'll notice a couple of the pictures that I am um, adhering or fiddling with are smaller than a four by six. What I do a lot is, and I use Walgreens, and this is not a plug in any way, but probably anyone will allow you to do it, but I create a collage with on the four by six size photo, if that makes sense. And so with that, you, you know, you should add at least two pictures. If you do two, normally it's um, wallet size that they become, but you can also do them smaller or bigger. Um, wait, does that make sense? Not necessarily smaller, but um, if I want them smaller, I would add more pictures. So in this case, the um, photo of, um, oh my goodness, I don't even remember what the photo is. My son and my daughter-in-law, it's their picture when they're in Hawaii for their honeymoon. It's a, it's a little bit thinner because the photo of the birthday, you know, they're in the birthday um, kind of selfie frame, I don't know what they're called, for whatever reason came out bigger probably because it was a landscape photo. And then I combine a landscape photo with a portrait photo. So that portrait one was a little bit smaller, but it was really the perfect size when I just put it on the edge of that um, journaling card. Um, so I, I, it's, 
just adds interest to your page. So I moved to the next, um, the right side of the, the layout because I didn't want to just add a bunch of em embellishments until I just figured out the photo placement. So again, I'm just adhering the, the 12 by 12, oh my goodness, six by six paper and uh, just putting it on the top. And in a minute, you'll see me kind of fiddling around with the photo placements again. Um, I was going to do a its own layout with my granddaughter's baseball pictures but I realized that I only took a couple of pictures and again sure I could do a 12 by 12 layout of her baseball but it was a really short season and I don't know I just felt like it was better in my month in review layout so there she is she's so cute um and there's a, a birthday photo of my husband and his um well, old co-workers, and even the police officer used to be our school resource officer, and so he shows up at the party, and of course, everybody kind of pauses for a minute, you know, because he's obviously a sheriff, and then they realize that he's actually a friend of the, the birthday boy, so um, anyhow, just a little side note, so, you know, again, I'm just kind of pulling through the embellishments, trying to figure out where I'm going to place them, because I am going to put clusters. I really enjoy the cluster look uh, whenever possible and layering and really just using what you have. That's always been a problem with me in the past. I, and I'm sure most people are the same way. You love your stuff, but at the same time you think, oh, I don't want to use it. Well, that's pretty ridiculous. You buy it so you can use it. So you should use it. Um, so you'll see me again, just kind of fussing with the, with the clusters and, um, you know, just where it looks visually pleasing that little what is that a fishing bob I don't even know I know it's got an official name but that was actually part of a cupcake topper from the birthday boys uh party he he was he's a f officially 40 in that in this party so I thought that was cute so I wanted to include it um I did mat it or um yeah mat it with cardstock so even though that's not um you know like acid free paper I did mat it so it should be fine and um it's always fun to add a little uh mementos or memorabilia from events when you can I tried to do that especially with um like business cards or um sometimes maps um just, you know, different things when you, especially when you're traveling, things like that. And it's just a little mementos that help you remember the trip and kind of pull everything in together. So you can just see me there. That's a journaling spot, which I will journal in. I didn't embellish that too much, um, mostly because I felt like the clusters were enough. And I try to go by the, um, you know, well, one cluster is, obviously the main cluster you may have more objects or it may be bigger um, definitely more um, eye-catching and then another one that um, again you know there's a lot of elements but a little bit less and then sometimes it's just like you said a, or I mentioned earlier a journaling spot maybe a couple of um, enamel dots or something a little bit smaller so there's that weight that you get that helps um, the page look good. So I did the two clusters on the right side and you'll see me in a little bit do a cluster on the left side. Um, so even though I wouldn't necessarily call that journaling spot a cluster, it still has that fill on that one side of the page. So the page still looks balanced. I hope that makes sense. Um, or at least it does to me. You could please leave me a comment if you don't feel like it looks um, balanced. But, um, you know, like I mentioned before, I, I have all these embellishments and they sat in my embellishment area, um, for years because I kept thinking, Ooh, I love these colors and I can use them for everything. And then I just never use them for everything because I didn't want to use them. <laughs> it's so silly. We're, we're, we're a silly group of people. That's for sure. But, um, so I'm just doing a little bit of jotting down um, what the pictures mean, who's in them, 
um, and kind of just a generalization of the two months. Again, this was for July and August. I did all of August on the right side and then all of the July photos on the left side. So um, I, I hope you enjoy that. And I hope you enjoy the idea of the month in review. I've noticed it being a little bit more of a, a discussion when in some of the different scrapbooking groups that I'm in. Um, so I don't know if people are just kind of catching on to that or maybe I'm just more aware of it because I'm now doing it. But I started last year and um, I really like the idea because sometimes you'll do something or go somewhere and you don't it's kind of ridiculous to think but you don't think it's worthy of a picture because it's not like a big trip or a, or a big occasion or you know something to that effect and but every everything still deserves to be remembered I don't I don't know if I'm saying that right but you know every little thing that we're doing has a memory tied to it whether it's with a person or a place or the story that may not be um, shown in that picture or obvious in that picture but if you experienced it and whoever you experienced it with is going to remember that by that one little shot now these photos are obvious events um, so the stories are being told by the photos um, at least as far as where we were and what those photos mean I have taken photos of like restaurant signs um, because for whatever reason, maybe we've always wanted to try that restaurant and we finally did. So I'll take a picture of, you know, the sign. We're not necessarily in it, but it's still kind of a memory keeper of, hey, we did go there and it was during, you know, that particular month. And so when I do my journaling, it may be something like, hey, we finally made it here or wasn't as good as we thought or, you know, whatever the situation is. Okay, now I'm just rambling. But anyhow, um, I hope that you enjoy this really quick video. I know there's not a whole lot going on. I mean, it's just a lot of fumbling and figuring stuff out. But go to my blog, which is www.craftsinthecommandcenter.blogspot.com. I know it's a long one. Um, that's the name of my craft room. So I do keep that because we really are crafting in that room. I will add the titles on the top um, using my Cricut. So I hope you enjoy it. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And um, I'll see you again soon. Bye.